the clear coat just peels off so oh yeah all right guys colin bought the cheapest mini cooper we could find the running mini cooper we could find on marketplace and um yeah um how much you spend on it two grand two grand and we put 150 in the lights a little bit in the back uh yeah we can walk through this real quick first without opening the engine <clears throat> i don't think we have to it's in pretty good running shape um seems to burn a little bit of oil or i think it leaks oil so we haven't quite tracked down that yet um <clears throat> the first thing you can see is the paint the paint is in marvelous shape um we're going to have to you know, can you peel some of that off show us how about over there yeah yeah the paint just the clear coat just peels off so oh yeah in huge pieces so that's going to be a project i think we're going to try to do on the cheap um, you see the hood here uh we think it was hit by a deer um you know there's a, a handful of things right in this general location and this light was a different light and it, when i was driving um following he was following me it was flashing and it was a totally different lens that they had put in here um and the wiring inside was all chewed up um i found that out because i was uh trying to adjust the bulb and the, the little whatever the heck the thing is on the back and it shocked the crap out of me it, it, it was it's a pretty good pretty good shock uh with these led or whatever the heck these lights are but we just bought these from amazon uh for 150 bucks this one actually might be hard to tell came broken um but the manufacturer is going to send us another one so that's cool um the um uh, fog lights are missing so we need to order those so it didn't come with those the um um they didn't even clean the inside uh but it's in pretty good shape i guess the convertible top the moonroof part of it slides back to about here and then it stops so we don't have power moonroof um, it's got one good tire on it this one um, you can see the checking there it's it's pretty rough um, yeah uh, this fender skirt was screwed on this one's completely missing um, the uh, the rear view mirror bounces all over the place it needs to be adjusted or replaced or something um, so yeah so the electrical for the top is messed up it doesn't come all the way down the back I'm pretty sure it's a it's an electrical switch I don't think it's manual but uh, the back tailgate doesn't open either I think that might be related wiring some somehow in the wiring so you have to um, pull the little lever there this light the um, uh, had no brake light so when we replaced that and pulled this thing out the backup light actually fell into it so um, we're gonna order a new set because once we went over to look at these that one is that the, sc the screw that holds it on the back is actually broken um, so yeah and then this light I don't even know doesn't work uh, we can take a look at that one um, it came with an extra tire this tire is uh, bald to the core um, so you can see the threads there so we got to see what's going on with the alignment it makes a kind of a roaring noise in the back little bit of exhaust maybe this wheel bearing so I'm gonna we're gonna lift this up and take a look real quick uh, look at that other side um, and then we're also going to take some of the back cover off well, let's take a look inside take, take us inside Colin yeah so it's pretty clean it's yours not bad yeah uh, so biggest things I've noticed is uh, the shoulder rest comes off yeah, the armrest there. Armrest, yeah. Uh, yeah. Broke a couple broken trim pieces. Besides that, not much. The interior is like pretty nice. Yeah, needs a good cleaning. They didn't clean it up, but the seats aren't torn. They're not even worn very badly. The heated seats work. Uh, yeah, heated seats oh, they know, work. AC was working. Um, all of, most of the trim work is actually in pretty good shape for the year. It's in 2005. 2005. Yep, so biggest things: the paint and the hood. Like I said, these will be 85 bucks on these. The hood, the hood struts need to be replaced. Um, 
it might be hard hard to see here but it's actually green this was sitting somewhere and there's moss all over the uh, or uh, mossy mold green growth all over the the back here and it needs a good washing so we're going to wash it good and then we got some uh, scotch bright pads eventually we'll probably do a whole video uh scotch brighten down to the to the uh as much of the clear coat to the where it's actually adhered and then i'm going to use this the cheapest amazon paint sprayer we we've got colin will tape it off and then colin's gonna probably go to tractor supply and get some of the the really like 15 dollar quart of clear coat and see how it does but yeah that's it that's the uh cheapest mini cooper um we'll, we'll do a quick shakedown of these wheels and then um pull this apart and see if we can't fix that maybe we'll this video is already pretty short so we'll see if we can make it a little longer by just checking this thing out so let's do that here in a second we'll get this jacked up and then all right so go ahead and spin it so i think that might be a little bit of wheel bearing but we got to take the wheel off take the brake off to make sure but what uh i just had colin do i'll show viewers at home um push the wheel up and down yeah that would be the top of the strut so the strut mount the strut mount is shot so that's probably why this wheel is also leaning in and wearing it down so that's a the good news is this is a fixed strut so the bottom of the strut is one bolt. Um, why that is good is because typically, unless there's another problem, when we put this in, you don't have to do an alignment. So, um, typically. So, that's, yeah. You need a new strut. Good news is these strut assemblies are not that expensive. And they're not going to be hard to replace. A few bolts on top, this bolt on the bottom, a couple of accessories pop off here, and We'll be good to go. So also I think we need to take the wheel off here in a minute and check the um check the wheel bearing. You wanna go ahead and let it down? Just twist, right? Yep, twist it back this way. Are right, you wanna bring that around and try over here? Yeah, just put it under, see that little thing right there? Put it right under that. Well, here's this other tire, a little bit better. Um, guessing it was on the rear here. This is the worst one that looks like it's leaning in, but I think because the entire top of the strut is blown out, it's probably why it's doing that. So, uh, we did shake down the, oh, the other side, we shook it down. It's just as bad. Um, so, I think those aren't that expensive. The fronts seem okay but probably ready for those as well. So I guess we'll see what we need to do. But first, um, Colin's just gonna take the, open this up and we're gonna do our best to, uh, well, I'm gonna, yep, open that up. And we're gonna do our best to, uh, to diagnose this with the test light. Any of them. Are they big enough? Let's see. Yeah, so some, they're tiny little guys. It's the small one. The small ones, yep. Yeah, put me down there. Yep, try all of them. Good. There should be five.
So we should have power coming back here. And what this tells us is we don't have any power at all coming back here. Started to uh, take this panel off. And then as I just pulled on each of these wires separately, these two came apart. So let's see if we can open this up and patch those wires. Um, yeah, that may be all we got going on. I bet you that's it. And it's really common. I've, there's a bunch of cars that I fixed that inside of the door panel, like literally inside of this little thing, they because they're, they're bending all the time, they go bad. So let's see if we can. All right, so what we did here was we ran the... Uh, a zip tie through here because it's pretty tight. I couldn't get these two wires. Uh, I'm just going to, we're just going to jump these inside of here um, because, yeah, um, and then I'm going to maybe shorten these a little bit and put some, some ends on there because it is, yeah, it's going to be what, it, what it's going to be. So first thing, if you want to pull the, pull those wires through. Let's just run it along the side of it and then electrical tape it. Sounds good. It's a $2,000 call out car. Just give it a little rest. Last the crimping done there. So now the, the right way to fix this, right? Right way. But obviously, we don't have some of the things like if we actually had a new pigtail, that'd be great. Um, or to cut all four of these, bring it up. But then with the cr with these inside of that, it's still going to be a pain with how um, they make a right hand turn down here. Uh, the other one would be to run new wires from down here up to there. And sometimes you can get you can push those the pins, the the connectors that are inside of that plastic connector out, and then and then recrimp the wires onto that. But um, I guess. Uh, hit the button, grab the key and hit the button. Maybe because it's closed. Yeah. Or maybe because it's open. Oh, it's not even plugged in. Now close it. Now grab the... Hit the button again. Mm, no, pull the latch. Well, that was the first wiring problem, and there is yet another. Let's keep looking. All right, well, so we did some troubleshooting. Um, there's there's a switch over here, but that's when this lever comes down. The switch needs to be engaged for the top to work. Um, not related. Um, there's another switch here, but this is when the, the expandable cargo tray is set in place. That, that would just stop you from, being, from putting the top down. Again didn't figure it out um, so we did fix those two wires I don't remember whether or not we had a um, a license plate light before but we do now um, so we may have to open this back up and get into the um, get into the actual wiring um, or the, the see if we can get any power to come into the switch itself or command the power so we'll find a wiring diagram and see if we can command power and actually make it do what it's supposed to do um, yeah but we couldn't we couldn't figure that one out. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, yeah, that's the coupe. Um, cheapest one on marketplace. It runs. Sh struts are shot. Need to replace all the way around. The tires are garbage. We're getting them Tuesday. So. Yep, Tuesday he's getting some new tires. Headlights were garbage. The taillights were garbage. The whole housings need to be replaced. So yeah, uh, and then the hood and the paint job. So we'll keep plugging away at this, or he'll do it on his own channel. And plug away at it and uh, yeah maybe his first video could be a $50 paint job um, or it's cheaper than that I think actually so yeah quart of tractor supply paint yeah. a little elbow grease but yeah we'll we'll keep looking at some wiring diagrams and stuff on that one to see if we can't fix the figure out the um, that tailgate power tailgate stupid thing oh for now we did we did come up with a, we did fix it a little bit uh, tied this yellow rope to it now it runs to the front you don't have to crawl through the back so just be able to give it a tug, tug, tug. All right, so guys, hopefully you liked seeing this heap of flaming money pit brown stuff. Um, definitely more to come.